Hello everybody, and welcome back once again to another episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age 2! In our last episode, we explored around the Black Emporium. Um, did not manhandle the urchin, because that's very important. We found out the secret of of the Antiquarian, aka the Geth. There's a Geth in Ferelden. That's pretty awesome. Despite the name, Low Town's not so bad. Just more likely to be destroyed by tidal waves than High Town. Thank you. And not only a Geth, but a Geth from the future coming back to protect John Connor, a.k.a. Uh, Hawk, Clive Hawk. So, yeah, let's, um, we've got a bunch of things, a bunch of quests that we need to take care of. I don't like some of the people you've been associating with, Carver. Talk to my brother. He's the one in charge. Maybe, but I know you get around. Oh? This city's full of people who are dead set on ending badly. I don't want to see you end up the same way. Would asking you to stop spying on me help in the least? No. <laughs> at least, at least, Aveline is blatantly honest. I like, I love Aveline's character a lot because she, she, I mean, she doesn't play around. You know, she, she, she doesn't sugarcoat anything. You know, she, she just tells it how it is. She just tells it out, how it, how it is. And I have a lot of respect for her for that. So. Let's see. Is there any other things? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we before we do that, uh, there was something in our house, I believe. There, we have mail. We have mail at our house. So someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Not before he gave it a shake to see if there were coins inside. Mm. I, I was worried they would fall out. <sighs> Camlin. <sighs> Thank you, Carver. Thank you, bro. I'm not surprised, honestly. Uh, the Bone Pit. Hawk, I've got a lead for you. A merchant I acquired goods for me told me that workers have gone missing from his Bone Pit mining operation. He mentioned that the missing miners were Ferelden, which made me think of you. If you're interested, go hit up Hubert in the High Town Market. I remember Hubert. Alright, we'll talk to him at some point. And another one from... Thanrail. Here. Loose ends. Hawk, I know we didn't part on the best terms. You were right. I was trying to squeeze more work out of you than I than was justified. You've more than paid your way into the city. It's been tight since you left, though. If you're looking for more work, for real coin in your pocket, come see me in Hightown. Anytime before sunset. Okay. Um... Let's see... Bring Carver and Aveline and yeah. Um, let's see. We were the Paragon's toe. Oh yeah, let's let's go do that real quick, and then make our way to going to. So Carver, have you thought about what you'll do if your expedition doesn't pay off? This is our only chance, and you know it. You're so damned proud you couldn't pick up a trade. And who would take a Ferelden apprentice? Maybe in another year I could work my way up to piss boy. Fine, let's crawl down some holes. Good bloody luck for your sake. I, the, I, the, us Ferelden's are not really appreciated here in Kirkwall, if you've noticed. And it kind of reminds me a little bit about how Angelus felt as an elf. You know, an elf from the alienage. So, there's, there's some parallelism here. Are there any markets? Hold on, I want to make sure that repent, and the maker will forgive. There. Now that I have some money, I want to make sure that I go to every single shop and make sure that I've acquired everything that I can acquire. Oh yeah, armor. Yeah, let me see what's in the armors. Kirkwall shield, guardsman standard, breastplate, reduced plate. This is for Aveline. Um. Level seven. Squires Jerkin, henchman cowl, okay. So we've got armors for Aveline. Yes. Um I don't know if Aveline is are you level seven yet, Angeline? Uh she's level five. Five, 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 okay. 
we'll have some goodies to equip them with once they reach a certain level. Apparently, ahem, apparently certain clothing doesn't fit until you get experience. I'm not sure how that works mechanically in-game, but whatever, we're gonna roll with it. New surfacer. This fell into my hands. Recognize it. You just stumbled on this? Can't say I'm surprised, bloody fool. What did I just give him? The toe is where it should be. I just gave him a toe. Oh. What's with what's with all these weird fetch quests? I mean, the corpse, the sister of the corpse of the sister was that was kind of creepy. And you know, the way that the receiver like handled it, reacted to it. So the bone pit, loose ends. Uh, we have to save, help Anders in High Town. We've got some. That's for Sebastian. That's for I don't remember who that's for. But um, and then of course we have all this stuff out here. So um, one thing at a time. Uh, it's still while it's still daytime. Let's go back to High Town and talk to Hubert and Nathaniel and find out what she wants and all that good stuff. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. I can help. Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. What's that supposed to mean? I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Served me right for hiring Ferelden refugees. Uh, <clears throat> I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. Uh, sir, I hate to break it to you, but we're for Elden. We're for Elden refugees as well. You said some of your workers are for Elden. Of course. Who else would be pathetic enough? Carver. Yes, all of them. An unruly lot, to be sure. Yeah. You, do you know what? You do. You do. You know who I am? Do you know who I am? I'm a for Elden refugee. Mind what you say about my countrymen. I was not referring to you, of course. My workers are a particularly desperate sort. They're lucky to work for me. Few in Kirkwall will hire refugees. Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. Mm. The bone pit must be dangerous if people are afraid to venture there. No, nothing like that. Pay no heed to local superstition. The bone pit is mostly harmless. Well, I don't know. Bone pit. It is a interesting name, you know. Uh. What's the reward? I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils you face. Perils? I thought you said the bone pit wasn't dangerous. I'll head there soon. The sooner the better. Each day the mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. Alright. Oh, Hubert's fine goods. Let's let's take a look at the shops here again. Carboard and staff, robes, the liar's charm, plus ten, ten defense, plus one. Gentleman's Puzzle Ring. Interesting. Uh, Tome of Technique. Ooh. I'm going to have to come back here and get that thing. I'll take a, I'll take the ward. Aeon. Yeah, that's it. Armory. Do we have any companion armors? Those are the things I really want to get, is companion armors. Marcher, Battle Plate. Eh, those are okay. I don't want to spend. I don't want to spend all my money right now. Maybe just before the expedition. You look. These are just weapons. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Like you know your way around a weapon. Buy something. Where are these over there? Robes by Jean Luc. Robes. Uh, these are okay. A back yes, backpack, please, backpack. All right, I still need three more backpacks for me to hit the max. Cause that's 
I, I accumulate stuff a lot. It's very easy for you to run out of inventory in this game if you don't get those backpacks as soon as you can. It's pretty much the same thing in Origins, too, of course. Oh. So, I have to talk. There's a Thenrel. Ah. Hey, former boss. How's it going? Wait, not Aveline. Aveline's. That's not Aveline's boss. This is my boss. Huh. Well, I just lost a sovereign. Didn't think you'd stoop to our kind again. Neither did I. Well. Indeed. Uh, well. Or are you not too proud to make some coin? I. I just want to know what the job is first. Don't. You guys, I know Carver probably doesn't want to continue working with her, and Aveline probably doesn't approve of me continuing working with <clears throat> smugglers. But let's, let's at least hear her out. What's the job? Pride usually hasn't been my downfall. Since you stormed off, we don't have anyone who can quite work your magic, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I sent some men to fence a bit of cargo down at the docks. I haven't seen them since. I pay good silver for the safe return of them or the goods. Is this anyone I know? When you left, we had to take on new Ferelden volunteers. Lad named Price was leading them. Price. No one of your caliber. Mm hmm. Want to tell me what you were selling? We were trying to make a deal with the Carta. Ah. Uh. Those Orzammar dwarves. They like luxury items. The Carta. Fine fabrics, a cask of caviar, an aged wine, anything one can liberate from a high town merchant. Her voice sounds really familiar. I can't quite put my finger on it. I know I've heard her voice several times before from at least one semi major character or supporting character from some Bioware game. That doesn't really narrow it down. Uh, whatever. Where were they last seen? They were supposed to meet down by the docks, under cover of darkness. I know you're familiar with the concept. I... you know what? I'll think about it. I'm not working with you for the time being. I, I'll, let me think about it, because I know Carver is really not comfortable with this at all. And that's kind of important. That's kind of important to Clive. I mean, you know, I guess some of his decisions while Carver is around is going to be affected. I think normally not. If it was anyone else but his brother, you know, he wouldn't let the decision effect. He wouldn't let his presence affect his decision. But because Carver is here, it's a little bit different. So I'm just trying to give you guys an understanding of how Clive makes some of his decisions and when it does or doesn't get affected by the people with him. Because, you know, I think that decision making in Dragon Age 2, at least for me, should be not necessarily so straightforward. It's, I, I try very hard to think very carefully how Clive would behave and react to things. Uh, let me think about it. I'm not working with you right now. I just finished a year with my life in your hands. I'm not going back so quickly. Thank the Maker. Suit yourself. The pay is here when you're hungry enough. Ooh, nice. Abilene friendship and Kava friendship. Very nice. I'll think about it. I might come back. Maybe when Carver's not around. <laughs> Uh, okay. So let's leave the area. I think we really should go ahead and help Anders. Um, yeah. So let's go switch over to Hightown at night and see what we can do for Anders. Because we have to help his friend. I feel like that's the most pressing. How can these nighttime streets be so dangerous? We should clear these idiot thugs out. A good friend of his has, I guess, been held hostage or has been captured against his will. So I think that's the most pressing matter at the moment. It makes sense. Let's see. Nighttime in Hightown. I'm sure the Blooming Rose is probably more busy at night than it is during the day. That's just my guess. Aveline, you probably should go for it. I mean, you're a guardsman. So... Oh, we've got some rabble. Rabble, rabble, rabble. You guys got this. Uh, Barrack's gonna go in with his miasmic blast. I'm going to uh, 
call on my dog. Meanwhile, I'm gonna also bring down a rain of sh shower. Go, Varric, go. Nice. Very nice, Varric. Oh, excellent. Varric, you are awesome! Take that. Nice. Varric is an area of effect machine. Whoa! Ninja Guardsman. Back on. Yes, make her take. Ooh, hello! More of you guys, Varric, be careful. I got you, Dad. I got you, buddy. Oh, stay away. Stay away from Varric. Varric, you might want to get out of there. Stun him if you have to. Alright. Let's go. My boy's got that. Woo! Perfect. I don't make my guards fight gangs in dark corners, but if you'd like to help. Yeah. I'm I'm good with that. Good good job, Steve. Good boy, Steve. Oh yes. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that my aura was up. Clive's aura was up. Uh, I wanna make sure I search through every nook and cranny of this place, so. Yeah, let's go down here first. This is where the market... Yep, the high town market. Everyone's closed up shop for the day. No, we don't want to leave the area yet. We've still got stuff to do. See, Aveline, we're just helping you with your patrols. That's all. You know, you could use some company. I know you're not the most social person in the world, but... You know, it's... This is... This is quality time. Quality time with Abilene bashing heads in. Beautiful. Yeah, alright. Let's go, Varric. Shower. Shower them with arrows. Okay, I'm trying to get this place properly. Come on. Let's go, Bianca. Ooh. Alright. Fine. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Give him, give him melee attack. Thank you, Aveline. Alright. Some of these pretenders here. Boom. Gorgeous. Come on, Barrett. Woo! Bianca, you are an awesome, awesome girl. Wow. Alright. We are level 6. In one more level we can start, you know, we can start tur uh, turning Clive into a blood mage, which will be interesting RP. Uh, yeah, let's keep going, because I want this misdirection hex. Uh, the mage casts a binding spell that makes an enemy likely to miss and prevents it from inflicting critical hits. That's that's a great debuff. I really want this because this will be Clive's first AOE spell. So next, let's go ahead and increase. Oh, do I have another ability? Oh, I get another. No, I didn't. I didn't confirm it. Okay, there we go. Um. um, 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 um. Uh, damage and attack values, resistance, duration of hostile magic effects. Okay, well, I mean, I'm just going to keep going in that direction. Um, Carver. I'll give you more. Uh, right. Killer blow. The mighty blow becomes considerably more punishing. You selected an upgrade. Upgrades gives existing abilities, new effects, or improved properties. Yeah, that's what I really like about these, the skill system, or the talent system in this game, is that if you, um, you can focus on specific powers that you like and make them more effective, or you can just continue taking uh, different powers. Um, it, it gives you a little bit more, cust a lot more custom ability. 
and uh, I really like that. I think it's a great improvement to the previous system. Not a, not that I thought the the previous system was bad in any in any form, but all right, there we go, Abilene. Scatter. The warrior clears a forward arc, throwing enemies back. That sounds good for you. All right, six. Everybody's level six. Godsman Pretender. That's a huge pile of loot that he left. Ha! Ah. Yes, Aveline. Ha! Ah. All right. Uh, let's go in this direction. Uh, actually, this direction. That's where we came from before. This is towards the yeah Viscount's way. I don't know if there's anything in here, but we'll take a look. I wouldn't think there would be a lot of, you know, hoodlums hanging out. Mind if I try my hand at that? Hanging out, you know, where the guardsmen are. Please. Thank Please. you, Varric. You are ki a king among men, or dwarves. King among men, dwarves. Guardsman Evelyn. It's a nice touch that they had the guard recognize Eveline when she's in our party. Okay. Man, it's a wall there. Uh, that's the direction we came from, I think. Yeah. Uh, we haven't looked, we haven't explored this area yet. Which is where Anders is hanging out, I believe. I believe that's what that marker is there for. All right, that's the chantry, because that's where we're supposed to be heading to save to save Anders' friend. But let's explore this area first. Stay out of the shadows. There are a hundred times more cut purses here than in Low Town. At the High Town Estates, really? Well, I guess that. Kinda makes sense when you're near all the rich people, but I don't know. It seems kind of risky to me because yeah, there's guards posted over there, so things are probably okay. Oh, what's going on over here? All right, Varric, take over. Um, let's stun these guys. Shower, shower them. And we've got more. Come on, Bianca. Oh! Oh no, you don't. Spinning shot. And get away from me. Take this. Oh, we got more. Careful there, Clive. They're right behind you. Uh, let's try misdirection next. Back off. Get away from Barrack, Barrack. Heck yeah. All right. Do, 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 do. Guardsman Pretender. We are a solid team. I I'm I am seriously considering increasing the difficulty more, guys. But let me at least finish this particular side quest and then decide if that's something that I think would be wise. Um, I think part of it is because we do have some pretty awesome equipment. And, you know, that, that might be in a reason why the baddies are a lot easier. So, we'll see. Alright, the Chantry Courtyards. Alright. Everything looks clear. Oh, there's Anders. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. 
You watch for Templars. Fair enough. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. Okay. Why is it so quiet in the chantry? I mean, I guess, or I guess, well, maybe everyone's, it's late enough that everyone's asleep. I guess sisters um, probably go to bed pretty early, if, because I, I, I would think of them as being early risers, so I guess that makes sense. Uh, still, I mean, it's kind of ominous. Let's open this door. Vial of holy water. Yeah, let's continue stealing from the Chantry. Beautiful. Uh, Aveline, you should probably go up front. I mean, you're you are a guardsman, so you have a little bit more authority than P2. Oh, there's Carl. Um, he's just hanging out over there. Hey. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be... made an example oh, no. of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself... Oh, no. This is the apostate. No! Whoa. Uh-oh, what the heck? You will never take another mage as you took him! Oh boy! Anders just hit puberty a second time. Uh... Clive is thinking, that's not a spell that I'm familiar with. What, what mad, what sort of madness is this? Come out, doggy. Alright, uh, here. Shower them, shower them. 